this is Matt, founder of William Henry, one more time. And I just want to say good morning to all of you out there. Uh, I didn't think my coffee habit could get any heavier, but the last four weeks have proved me wrong. So I want to try to keep this light, but I also want to recognize the, the somber reality that we're all living through right now. A week ago, I did one of these messages. We had 225,000 cases of COVID-19 and uh, about 5,000 deaths. A week later, 425,000 cases and approaching 15,000 deaths. And by the time many of you see this, those numbers will have climbed how much higher I don't. I wish I didn't have to imagine. None of us had to imagine. But this is, this is the time. So once again, to everybody from the first responders to just people heeding the guidelines and staying at home, um, thank you. Uh, this is tr remarkably dark. Um, the only way we get to the dawn is by doing the right thing uh, alone together <laughs> here in this darkness. So enough of that. Um, I thought I would elaborate a little more on the, a couple of the earliest bits of the William Henry story uh, for those of you that are interested. And again, if you're not so interested, eh, just pass a little time. How does one brand become what it is? Um, I started in this in 1997, same year Jeff Bezos started Amazon. So there are different levels and trajectories of success, certainly. Uh, but I'm proud of what we built. And I started in a room just like this home office. And the name came from my middle name, which is William, and my silent partner's middle name. His middle name is Henry. Combined those two names, William Henry, and that name just felt right. It felt like it had history to it. It felt like it could be anything. Happened to be pocket knives for a long time. It's a lot more than that now. Um, it just felt elegant, American, neutral. And so that was, that's how the name came to be. It was that simple and in some of my earliest pieces, I had people that would come up to me at little trade shows and, and say, oh, my granddaddy had a William Henry. And I would say, yes, he did, and thank you very much. Because who am I to dissuade them from their notions, right? That was the idea. Um, and uh, But I didn't have the logo, the WH that we use, which seems so obvious. It wasn't obvious. So every day I would doodle on these scratch pads, but I, I couldn't figure it out. Um, there must be 250 failed logos for that simple WH that finally emerged. So at the beginning, uh, I used the name William Henry in a little arc with 1997, those first pieces that I made by myself. And then in 1998, William Henry, 1998. Um, and it wasn't until the summer of 1998 that I came up with that WH and started using that logo where we've used ever since. And as soon as I drew it, and it was just line art, I mean, it was a, like a doodle, right? It, it hadn't, I hadn't sort of fleshed out what font am I going to base it on, what are the parameters and proportions, and that took a little while. But that first line art, when, as soon as I saw it, I knew I had it, finally, you know, over a year after I'd come up with a name and started this little business. Um, and the reason it appealed to me, the reason it made sense, is it felt like it was a combination of a cattle brand, rusted and rugged and frontier and can-do attitude, and a monogram, um, high society. And that felt like exactly where I was headed with William Henry. Um, so the logo has been in use ever since. And, uh, and those early pieces that had William Henry written out in 1997 or 1998, uh, if they're still in good condition, are now highly collectible. It's always a bit of a surprise. If, you know, you don't design something and figure out how to build it and bring it to market with the intention of, I'm going to build a collectible brand. That happens on its own. Um, and uh, it's sort of wondrous and odd to watch it happen. But those earliest pieces with those marks, uh, we've seen sell for 10 to 12 times what I originally built them for. Um, so yay to the people that got them and made a really good investment. And uh, that's a little bit of the backstory. Uh, in any business, you know, most businesses fail, but any business that works, it works through hard work, through vision, through luck, through happenstance, and certainly in my case, um, through the excellent 
work and attention and devotion of a whole lot of people besides me. So thank you to everyone who has worked for William Henry over the years, who still works for William Henry, um, for bringing your drive and your passion to helping me articulate uh, a small, simple little vision that I had and turning it into something more than I could have ever imagined. <coughs> and to all of you out there, uh, I wish you grace and compassion, kindness, keep the faith, and thank you.